Hey guys, so uh, just thought I'd do another video. Um, I'm working off the uh, AboveUnity.com uh, website. Fantastic forum. Great uh, bunch of guys over there. And uh, I'm just doing the non inductive uh, coil experiment replication uh, thread uh, just to try to, you know, go back to basics here, essentially. Um, like, I don't know how about you guys, but I keep getting uh, stuck going down different rabbit holes, and I'm just gonna go back to basics here and start from scratch, essentially. <laughs> um, uh, Chris Sykes is, uh, you know, stuff I've been studying actually for quite a while, um, but I've just taken another look at his stuff, and uh, it, it's really um, making a lot of bells ring for me. Um, I just got through reading uh, Thomas, uh, I mean Bearden's book, and uh, that was quite, uh, it was <laughs> a mammoth read, but a pretty good book, and they talk about asymmetrical regaging in there, and uh, sure enough, Chris has done quite a, bo a lot of um, work on that, and I figured I would just uh, take his advice and throw something together, he's, you know, he even says you can do this pretty cheaply, throw some parts together and you can actually see some effects happening and uh, that's what I'm trying to do here just to show people that it's uh, pretty um, easy to see this effect of asymmetrical regaging. Um, so uh, this is what I did. I just took a this is out of this is just a little um, core, a ferrite core here. Um, I've got two meters of wire wrapped one way, two meters of wire wrapped the other way. Okay, so that's one, two coils here. And remember, it's asymmetrical, so we have three coils. These two are opposing. This is our L1 coil, and this is one to four. So this is half a meter. This is two meters. Um, I'm just using a, uh, you know, uh, a, a Tesla core driver that I made for another another uh, experiment, but it actually works quite well for this. And I'm driving it just with a um, function generator. Um, uh, it's set at six percent duty cycle right now. One point three kilohertz is where I seem to get a pretty good effect, and um, that's just driving this. Okay, and then my power supply. Uh, right now I'm putting 15 volts into this thing. Uh, I could put 20. Uh, I'll just leave it at 15 for now. Um, just to see what's, you know, so you can see the effect happening. And uh, I've got two oscilloscopes going. Um, the reason I've got two oscilloscopes going is because I want to see the current on the input side. So I want to see the current coming in on L1. So on the cold side, I have it going through a uh, 0.1 ohm resistor here um, and I can put my oscilloscope across that that's this one over here sorry that's this one here and uh, these oscilloscopes are plugged into uh, isolation transformers you don't want to have these plugged into the same thing uh, otherwise if you try and do this and you've got your probe leads uh, attached elsewhere in the circuit you're going to blow your you will blow your oscilloscope up. So you wouldn't be able to do this with one oscilloscope. Um, you'd have to look at the the, um, the the load on the light bulb and the load on the, and this is the circuit here, so you'd have to look at the load on the light bulb and the load on just the diode and the, and the coil. Um, just by itself, you couldn't do that and look at the, uh, <clears throat> the input. That's as far, that's how I figure, that's how I understand it anyway. I wouldn't want to try it. Um, so anyway, so I, I can flick this on and you can see um, that I am getting the sawtooth wave and and uh, let's have a look, let's just turn the power on. All right. So this is the current in, that's the current in and then you can see the duty cycle is on 6%. If I adjust that duty cycle, it changes the curve on that current in. So if I go too much duty cycle, I'm past where it's doing any good. I'm past the, 
the current change. So let's go right out there. Okay. And then if I look over, I can see my sawtooth wave. I'm not, I'm not going through all the numbers on exactly how many millivolts each, uh, or how many milliamps each thing is drawn right now. I'm just showing you the effect in to get the sawtooth wave up. Um, so you can see that, and that sawtooth wave is actually, that's on this side of the, sorry, this side of the circuit. And on the side with the light bulb, I'm not really getting much light with it on that setting. Um, and I believe that's because I'm saturating this core, um, or I need to move this. This isn't the best setup for this, um, but I've just done this so I can see some effect of the uh, sawtooth wave. But anyway, I just want to do a quick video just to say that, hey, um, you can you can get this effect, and this is step one, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna keep plugging along and uh, start refining this down a little bit more. All right, cheers guys.